today we are doing our first letter R. We are trying out Rugby Parkrun. We are meeting up with a little guest today. He's also doing his Jurassic Challenge. So today we are going to be meeting the famous, highly requested, run like a T-Rex, also known as Dave. <laughs> so we'll be running along with him, getting all of his insights. It's a lovely morning, a bit brisk. You may have noticed. Ta-da! Wow. Some quality merch, proudly manufactured and designed by the one Brett Ellsmore from Obi-Wan brand. So we'll put a link below to his item shop. Go and check it out. <laughs> It was a nice surprise, it came on the post on Friday. <laughs> so. Perfect for Parkrun Day. Yeah, good time. Sad thing is, it looks like we've just gone up and down a hill. We'll be running along. Yeah, they do mention oh. hills in the description. And they say, don't go on the grass. So I'm hoping most of it's on, on road, but I think there is an off-road trailly yeah. section. Yeah, there's a wilderness trail, I think they called it. <laughs> That's why Hayley wanted to come. <laughs> I've only ever been here before for a rugby half marathon. Wow, did you like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> that a hilly one. Too hilly for me. Oh, we're just approaching. I think we're approaching the start line and the lonely sign. park run sign. Yeah! But the question is, where's Dave? Because he had an absolute mare halfway getting here, realised he didn't have his running shoes. <laughs> <laughs> of all things to forget. Save the day. Wow! It's a man himself. You get your shoes in time. Yeah, spot, <laughs> spot the <laughs> bed moment. <laughs> How yeah. far did you get? Uh, I was about two miles away from my house, I think. Oh, okay. I too far away. Yeah, put some, put, just put my Crocs on to put some recycling the oh, weed nice. in this morning. And then just like, I've got shoes on, <laughs> I'm, like, off I go. And then, yeah. <laughs> Like, Could have done it in Crocs. Up, yeah. I'm slow enough in shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bring Crocs into the equation. Featuring path, trail and grass, this two lapper starts with a loop of the main field, heads through a bumpy wilderness section, up past some allotments and then finishes on the grass. Start with a big round of applause for our volunteers. <laughs> Do we have any tourists? Yeah. Go on, shout some names out. Watermelons. I'll go where you are, so just go wherever you want to go. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, Sounds very prompt. I haven't even got GPS. Close. Oh, we're going. How are you feeling so far after that? All right, a bit chaotic, but it's like, uh, yeah, just make your way over to the start. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> it's like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> What's your actual 5k PB? Uh, Park is 24.50. According to Strava, it's a Sphinx 5. Oh wow, in oh, that? We've got 23.34. Oh, 4.50, that's probably where you want to be. Thank you. They didn't tell you this on the leaflet. See you Thank you. Well and you got to do that once more. Oh, good. That's absolute trash. That was a 504 still. Look at you, Haley. You're acing it. That's what I bargained for. <laughs> That's what happens when Dave sets the pace. Well, at least it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> 
27. That's bang on 25 pace. <laughs> well, you got a kick. <laughs> this is the ankle breaker zone. Doing 5.30s today, we need to start bringing them in. Yeah. I'm not going to miss my box 25 in me today. This is pretty hard course for yeah. <laughs> But you may, this is quite a nice bit to make some of the time up for later on. You got this. Thank you. Come on, Dave. That's all the hill's done, really. Just push your arms a little more back. Come on, 340. Less than a track length. Thank you. Yeah, that was a bit quicker than ramble pace. Just <laughs> a little bit. At the start. <laughs> yeah, I know, you went off like a rocket. The second lap, that hill. That hill's a My heart rate was already at 180, and it just went wallop within 50 metres. I'm going to have to stop, try and be sick. I didn't manage it. Cool. What, what number is this? Five, maybe? This is your fifth part, Chris? Yeah, something like that. I'll put the times we all got up here, as well as the pace. <laughs> How would you describe that course, Hayley? It's fun, I like the wilderness section, but the hill is rough. <laughs> and you do have to watch your ankles, because there is a lot of <laughs> yeah, potential it's ankle places. Have you done something good? You can go How is that? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's good. good. The hill is a bit rough, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well done, you. Well done. It's tough. It was um, yeah. You don't really get a feel for how tough the course is on the mm. course guide. And, uh, we had a little joke with the barcode scanner saying you didn't mention the hill that you did twice. Yeah, that was pretty gnarly. That was. I've not done. Yeah, it's not a PB course. Put it that way. Dave is training for 10k Wednesday big big event. Uh, 13th of October. We should be having an official announcement on. It's our club Ooh. race, so that should be coming out fairly soon. Um, and then that'll be. I'll just be building the mileage ready. But if you want to see more of that action, head over to his channel. Yeah. We can give him a few more. If you've watched this far, yeah, let him know we sent you. <laughs> so, where will the people on YouTube find you next at your next park run? Um, another Jurassic one. Yeah, so I'm doing a Jurassic Park run series. It'll be something along those lines. Uh, Jay's going to be the difficult one because you've either got Jersey or yes. Jersey Farm. I think are the only two in the UK. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So obviously Jersey Farm's not even, that's St Albans, that's not top around the corner. Um, but I do have family in Jersey so I might just oh, pull out on that one and go and see them. So I started running last January, um, I've now lost just under two and a half stone. Um, and my park run, my 5k then was 38 minutes. My first one was 28, 18 um, I think. So I did a 5k on the 2nd of January, um, having seen my brother who was in the army at the time. I was like, I used to be able to run like that when I was in the <laughs> army. Like, no. Yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? As soon as you hit a thing, yeah, like as soon as you hit a couple of runs, yeah. and I got down to under sort of 30 relatively quickly. You never have. I mean, I took 11 and a half minutes off my 5k last year. And so. You're still not happy. Yeah, it's, it's one of those, isn't it? So, um, it's. Uh, I, I play golf as well, so it's it's the finding that you're constantly striving for perfection and trying to get better yeah. than that as well. So. Um, 
It's, uh, but even if you do perfect, you'll still find something to say you could have done better. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think we need to <laughs> motivational YouTube channel. Yeah. I think you just need to. I said the same thing to uh, Andy Maguire. I said, I think we need to give ourselves a bit of a chill. Uh, yeah, just go easy on ourselves and. When you get a PB, you shout for, be proud of yourself because yeah. they're really hard. Like, especially, like if you're just getting into running, you'll you PB every other off. week because yeah. it's, it's tumbling down and all that kind of stuff. And all of a sudden you hit a barrier for like a but year. Once you, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, some people drop like, out. Like, I mean, the, yeah. stuff like like at your sort of level. It's like seconds. It's second. It could be my, minuscule things in terms of like it could be a, a headwind, not a tailwind. It could be a tighter corner. Yeah. Um, or it can be stuff like you can be training really, really hard. For your marathon training, but it's going to nail your five k time because yeah. you don't practice it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you guys might you do a lot of parking tours, and you're still doing a relatively amount of high lot of five k's and stuff. And you might do the odd bit of speed work because obviously you're at your very high level. You're still quite four foot. You're still running at a decent clip. But like my sort of stuff, I've I basically had nine months of half marathon training, so I did no five mm. k's at all really. Um, yeah, doing so marathon has training, I found like our park runs were all really slow, and then. But then after I'd done the marathon and recovered, then I got quirk from it. Yeah, I guess you, you properly built. built that base. And but then at it's the like... time, I was like, where's my speed gone? Yeah. <laughs> See, um, Jakob Ingebrigtsen the other day. What did he do? He broke the... Oh, the 3K one. The 3K one. Like 716 or something. 2.25 a K for 3K. 2.25? <laughs> That's basically my all out sprint. <laughs> I think I could keep up with him for about 200. There's a crossover. I couldn't at 300 meters, Yeah. but I could do 200 meters at that oh, pace. Because okay. I was a sprinter as a kid, so my best, oh, for, the, wow. my best for the 100 was 10.9. And I was, I was a sub 23 200 runner, but no speed endurance, which is why I'm gasping for air on 5Ks. I learned a lesson in fuel, and I, had one, I took one gel, and I didn't have a gel until <laughs> seven. I, had, I didn't have a. Yeah, and I had my breakfast at like 6.30, the race started at 9, That's I had right. one gel at 7.5 miles in, I was like, I feel fine, I don't need, and um, yeah, then it was, uh, I got to the 11 mile, I got some 10 miles, I was like, I feel awesome, I feel really good, 11 miles I wanted to amputate my legs, yeah, my legs were just in bits, and um, that's where I learned the benefit of CBD oil. I've never used it. Yeah. I'd never he I'd heard of it, but I've like a sport one or is that just a Well, there was somebody at the finish line that had like a stand at the little roundabout in Kenilworth. Oh. Came over to me, could clearly see I was struggling. <laughs> She's like, you know, here's his free sample. Where, where hurts the most? I was like my calves. Oh wow. And uh, yeah, he's like rubbed a bit of CBD balm on my calves. No word like within five minutes, it felt like I could have run a 5k. <laughs> Like, I obviously sure? didn't do. It was <laughs> unreal. I've never known anything like it. Jesus, 16 minutes I've been recorded. We've just completed Rugby Park Run. This is me. <laughs> That's Hayley. <laughs> That's Dave. Uh, thanks for having me on. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to go and watch mine, that'd be great. And uh, on to the next adventure. On to our, our next, next adventure. adventure. Let's get some shots.